everyone, welcome to the Family Secrets Recipe Channel. My name is Mary. I'm a Chinese. I came from China to live in Montreal for over 10 years. I like to eat a lot. I always go to the restaurant, enjoy the Western food, but I don't know how to cook at the home to prepare Western food. I'm so lucky. I'm always interested for learning that. From now on, I will bring you to follow me to all kind of personal kitchen to ask them tell me all the family secret recipes. Lucky you guys. But this is my first video. Please give me good feedback. I will try to adjust the next time. The first video I'll bring you to a Quebec family. Her name is Mahi. She cooked for more than 30 years. She has a big family, nine children. Today, she will teach us how to cook pâté chinois. Chinese family called Chinese Welcome to our Family Secret Recipe. Today, we will在中国的新年当中向大家问新年快乐阖家快乐我们在蒙春食堂这当地人魁北克人的家里来做一道中国派巴达西诺因为是中国的劳工一百五十年以前在魁北克为了建铁路的时候发明的所以今天呢我们来
那个已经切好的那个洋葱，切好的那个土豆片，泡的盐水里是防止它那个氧化和变色。然后呢，我们放的一个锅里，这个锅呢，平时呢我们可以，呃，也把它弄。呃，我们可以用普通的锅，也可以用高压锅 ，such as pressure， 是啥 ？This minute， 呃，这种锅呢，高压锅只需要十分钟。如果我们用普通的锅，可能需要半个小时到四十分钟。那么今天我们省点时间，就用高压锅。So I'm gonna roll the potatoes and、um... Because I don't want to add too much salt. And uh, well, uh, I put it in the presto uh, mm -hmm. vapor uh, yeah. vapor uh, bowl. For this, we need just a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. well, uh, just a My flour inside, the flour inside. It's a flour inside with mm -hmm. uh, to um, keep the potatoes and vapor okay. or sim. Sim. So I put just a little bit of water, about one one inches, in the uh, in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good enough. So after that, we put it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's then uh, ten Soft. minutes. If you use this one, that will take uh, about a half hour mm -hmm. to cook with the uh, water. So we're gonna start it now. So ten minutes, it will be ready. And uh, after while well, this time we prepare the onions to put inside the um, mm -hmm. for the flavor for the, uh, the for onion, the meat. We can choose the uh, the color one or yeah, the white one. Yeah, you can one. take the white one or the red one. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. For myself, I prefer the the red, mm -hmm. but the white is good too. White is good too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's for the meat. So we can already put it in the. We'll put it directly in the, in the. Well, in the bowl, okay. In the bowl, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start the. Another. The beef. Yes. And I put a little bit of oil. Only for oil. Uh, just a little bit, uh, just to uh, to make some in the bottom of my uh, pot. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I take it. I'm gonna fry it uh, while well, just tender. Mm -hmm. Just tender. Just tender. No need too long time. Not too long time, just a little bit. I think, uh, after that, uh, I will take it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, not too high because that's gonna burn. So you put your uh, uh -huh. your timer there mm -hmm. a little bit lower. Okay, now I guess it's a tender, so we can put it. In the bowl for the moment, so I will put it in the bowl. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the beef here, and I'm making all the beef. Uh, was it medium, maybe? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. 
half uh, fat, half uh, uh, fat. So while it's cooking, mm -hmm. you already can put some salt, uh, some pepper, I guess. Okay. Some paper, the salt uh, just after. I put some paper while uh, it's cooking. Paper, Jelson. Paper. Yeah, that's the way, the easy way to make it. This is the Chinese way to use the most important Yes, I prepare about uh, two spoons of uh, beef broth and I put a little bit of water and I put it in my meat to use, uh, uh, be before to use salt. So that's uh, take, uh, take we're going to mix it with the, that will give a better uh -huh. taste to the beef. 它这道那个家庭的秘诀最重要的就是在这个牛肉呃加盐之前要加一点点那个牛肉的呃汤水给它提鲜让它更增强一点牛肉的味道特别鲜 The beef water you can buy from a supermarket with a can or you just make at home that beef water you will add with the market. The, the beef water you put with the beef soup from the candy or you just uh, make the at home? Uh, I, uh, I make it own. Oh, okay. I put two uh, come on, dry, dry beef. Dry beef? Dry beef uh, broth mm -hmm. and uh, two spoons mm -hmm. and a little bit of water and I put it in the steak while it's cooking, so that will uh, give us the salt for it. So that should be enough salt. If you don't, you taste it after when it's cooked, and if it's down, you, you, you put, can put a little bit of salt more, mm -hmm. as you taste. That's why the 所以如果它的咸味够呢就不要放那么多盐如果咸味不够呢当时候再加点盐因为这个汤已经含有盐分了在这个同一时间呢我们看到这个蒸汽出来了蒸汽出来的时候呢它把粥调了五分钟也就是
Now to finish, we have to put a little bit of persil for decorating. It's not really for taste, but uh, you can put it in potatoes if you like to. And uh, I put persil. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I will put also a little piece of butter. Wow. Just really little. Usually it's a. Come on, so. Fondu. Melted. Okay, and then we're going to put it in the, in the oven for about uh, half hour because everything is cooked. It's only to make it uh, uh, hot together. Mm -hmm. So it's about half hour in the, in the oven at uh, 2.50. 现在开始我们要进入烤箱大概是在温度250华氏度其实所有的东西已经煮熟了只是为了让它全部粘在一起然后出味道 That's it <笑> 全部都已经准备完了现在呢是应该是时候我们稍微靠了一下自己所以呢我想请马西呃马西呢来喝喝一杯红酒家庭的厨房就是这么开心嘛不要光是工作对不对在等这半小时期间不要浪费时间因为是